Don't be paying them collectors, all right? You can stop this nonsense right now. Don't be paying. Hey, Jerome, I see you. Don't be paying them collectors. All right, first and foremost, what you can do is you can dispute these negative, nasty, erroneous items, inclu including, including collections off your credit reports, right? These unverified negative accounts. Yes, don't be paying them collectors, okay? If you want to go ahead and do something like that, you know what's going to happen? Not very much for your credit. Not very much for your credit. If it gets paid, oftentimes your credit score doesn't get any better, okay? Oftentimes that negative, nasty, erroneous collection would still have to be disputed, right? Get this unverified, inaccurate, nasty, erroneous, obviously outdated account off of that. When something is paid, and it can oftentimes restart the statutes of limitation clock, right? So don't be paying them old ass, nasty collectors, Jerome. I see you. Over there, don't we? Hey, put the laptop down, okay? Dispute, dispute, dispute. You can dispute these negative, nasty, erroneous items. 609creditrepair.com, or we can do the work for you at the awesomelifegroup.com, all right? I also got another question here of an individual who's talking about inaccurate, nasty, erroneous stuff, okay? My spouse's credit report has some erroneous listings of alternative social security numbers. How is that possible to have alternative social security numbers? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Get this stuff squared away. Your personal profile information, name, social security, all right? Addresses, we've been talking about this, all available to you at the letters that you can get at 609creditrepair.com or we can do this work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com, all right? This video helping you out, please give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, try button, and until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.